Look at that plate. Don't it look delicious? Let's make it. You're going to start with a smoking hot skillet, add some grapeseed oil, and then you're going to put your room temperature steak in that skillet. You're going to sear on one side for about three minutes, flip it over, sear again for three minutes, flip it one more time, and you want to render that fat, sear for another two minutes. Once your steak is seared, you add your butter and whatever seasonings you would like to use. I like fresh garlic. I also use rosemary. I didn't have any fresh rosemary, so we're going to use dry rosemary and also some thyme. You're going to allow these herbs to permeate that butter, and then you are just going to bathe that steak in that beautiful seasoned butter. This is what's going to add flavor to your meat. After you've basted your steak for about two to three minutes, you're going to take it out and let it rest. It is important to let your steak rest before you chop it. Now let's get into these vegetables. I like to saute my Brussels sprouts in bacon grease. It just adds another depth of flavor to the vegetable. So we're going to add our Brussels sprouts to the hot grease. We're going to saute for about two minutes before we add our onions. At this time, you can add onions or shallots. And then you also want to add balsamic vinegar. This is where the flavor happens. Add your vinegar, salt, pepper, and then some butter. The butter is going to add that luxuriousness that we look for when we're eating Brussels sprouts. Just going to go ahead and flip these and these are done. Now, the black girl urge to twerk when you are making delicious food, it just takes over me. Okay, okay, let me get this together. Let's make this sauce. To a hot skillet, we're gonna add our butter and then we're gonna add our cognac. Use your cognac of choice. Mine is always Hennessy. We are going to use the same herbs that we use when we cooked our steak. We're not going to throw those away. They add delicious flavor. Put the herbs in there, and then we're also going to add just a little bit of beef stock, and we're going to let this reduce. You want this to reduce by half or until it's nice and thick. Once it's reached the consistency that you want, take the herbs out. You're going to finish your sauce with some parsley. I didn't have fresh parsley on hand, but dried parsley works just as well. It's going to add a beautiful color to your sauce. Be careful when you're slicing your steak, watch your fingers, but I want y'all to see how deliciously, perfectly medium rare this steak is. Look how juicy and pink it is. Mm. All right, let's plate this meal up. Start by putting your beautifully cooked Brussels sprouts in the middle of the plate, and then you are going to take a couple slices of that steak and just lay it on top. Make sure you taste it to make sure it's delicious. I'm pretty sure it is. I know mine is. It's absolutely scrumptious. After we put the meat on there, now it's time to just be very generous with that wonderful cognac sauce, and there you go. It's time to eat. Ribeye steak with a butter cognac sauce over Brussels sprouts. Bon appetit.